What is up guys, my name is Kyle, also known as K-Store, and welcome back to another drift car build. This is the Honda S2000, and we're going to get into it. We're going to go with a street front bumper by Honda, and we're also going to do the street rear bumper by Honda. No side, uh, side skirts and no hood. Uh, you can do whatever though for appearance. <clears throat> Excuse me, street tire compound, front tire width is a stock front tire width. Upgrade the rear to 225.45 on the rim style we're gonna go with I believe oh Kong I was gonna say OG but Kong afterburner series you can upgrade the rim size if you want you don't really have to though all it really does is improve appearance and add a little bit of weight okay and on to aspiration we're gonna add a single turbo on to platform and handling we're gonna go with street brakes race springs and dampers race front and rear anti-roll bars stock cage and a street weight reduction on a drivetrain we're gonna go with a sport clutch a sport transmission and a race drive line. Okay, onto the good stuff. Engine air filter. We're gonna go with a sport intake, sport fuel system, sport ignition, exhaust. We're gonna go with sport exhaust. Cams. We're gonna go with race cams. Valves. We're gonna keep those stock. Displacement. We're gonna keep stock as well. Stock pistons and compression, street turbo, it's the stock turbo. Full race intercooler, I believe. Oh, sport intercooler, my bad. Sport oil and cooling, and a race flywheel to top it all off. Alright, so we're going to cut into some drifting right now. And we're up in Eagle Ridge, and here is the Honda S2000. Um, I don't know, it's, it's an alright looking car, the front end to me is really narrow I don't like how the how it sits like so the like coupe part of it sits so far back either but um I mean it's it's overall it's a decent drift car my only complaint is that the gearing isn't long enough if I were able to tune uh, like gearing ratios I would definitely make second gear a lot longer because um like while drifting you tend to like bounce off rev limiter a lot which I don't really prefer, but I mean, with some practice, you can you can definitely control uh, your, your your you can control your th uh, throttle control. Excuse me, I can't talk. Uh, but yeah, you tend to bounce off rev limiter quite a bit. But it's a drift car; it's meant to do that. Just uh, I don't know, it does it a little bit too much for me. I don't, I like to hear the motor, not just rev limiter. But uh, yeah, so. The Honda S2000. Um, I'm going to be doing a Fair Lady Z as well. I, I'll probably upload that soon. This is the that'll be the next uh, drift car build to go on my channel. And yeah, so Eagle Ridge. This is just um, normally I run like a little circuit through here, but I didn't. I decided not to do it today. Um, just because the uh, gearing so low on this car. Also, if you want to drift in third gear with this, it's. Um, it's pretty hard, but I was playing around with um, the like where your I don't know it's like race central I believe what it's called that little circle area on the map. Um, if you get in third gear around there and hold it around 70 and just use the e-brake a little bit and like work the car, you you can end up getting uh, some nice drifts in third. But other than that, it's pretty useless for areas around here. I believe I try to go into it at some point. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Any comments are always greatly appreciated. And be sure to subscribe for some more Forza Horizon Drift Car builds and other gameplay videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And until next time, peace.